For all three of us, running has very different meanings individually. The mountains were brutal, the landscape was beautiful, and I guess as a team, we really enjoyed running there. It's more than a race. We are, we all are full-time professionals. For me personally, it is meditative. I find it very calming and peaceful, and it has brought good discipline into my life. We are here with some special guests this morning. Three Indians who finished the ultra race in Brazil, a 217-kilometer race. That's not that's not a joke actually. And uh, Mandeep, uh, Praveen, and Munish. Welcome, guys. Welcome back. And just share your experience. How was the adventure there in uh, Brazil? Uh, thank you, Leslie. Thank you for the compliment. And Brazil 135 was an awesome race. We had good time there. The mountains were brutal. The landscape was beautiful. And I guess as a team, we really enjoyed running there. The, the elevation, it was too much, too steep. Uh, the downhill, the uphill, you know, the quad, quads were totally broken during that run. Uh, but somehow we managed to finish that uh, strongly within the time of the bad water cutoff. So we are happy with that and uh, regarding the people, uh, they are very, very supportive there and very happy and cheerful. So we, we love that country totally there. We, are, we all are full-time professionals. So we had a, for, we just want to have a good time. So we actually, uh, apart from running, we also spend a very good time with each of us. And uh, it's, it's a lifetime experience for all of us. Before getting into the, the uh, bigger part of uh, why Brazil and all that. I would like to introduce another special guest here, Dr. Rajat Chauhan, who is a sports medicine specialist, but who is also an avid runner, a doctor of pain, he calls himself. But yeah, he's also one of the uh, foremost race organizers, ultra race organizers in the country, in the world, in fact, uh, La Ultra, which is say 333, and this this year it's going to be 555 kilometer race in the in Ladakh. Uh, welcome, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, I was just uh, wondering about uh, running in general, and about uh, ge after getting introduced uh, to these guys, I was just wondering how uh, ultra running as caught up in India because earlier we used to have a running culture where we do it for exercise, we do it for warm up or whatever. But off late that marathon movement has happened and that has transformed itself into ultra running movement in the country. So uh, something on those. So uh, it was 10 years ago when or 12, 12, 13 years ago when I moved to India. And what is interesting is hardly anyone was running those races, you know, like a Delhi half or a Bombay full. Um, it was funny that ProCam had approached me, I was in London and they wanted me to be the elite runner. It was silly, stupid, because, you know, my times weren't great, <laughs> okay? That's 13, 14 years ago. Yeah. And today, it's very beautiful. It's brilliant to see so many people actually doing it, whether it's a short distance or a long distance like an ultra. Uh, I've been putting this La Ultra for the last 10 years now, 10th year this year. Uh, for first seven years, there were hardly any Indians. Even if there were, I would disqualify them for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> it's great now that you're getting people to the finish line. I think we've really moved on as a society as far as running goes. Uh, I think it shows something about the culture and the society, actually. That's a great sign, actually, and that takes us back to the Brazil adventurers because uh, I just had this doubt when I heard about, when you mentioned about their achievement, that uh, why Brazil and where, where are you running towards? That's, that's, the, that's the general philosophical question that I had. So, why Brazil? Because we had, in 2018, we did La Ultra 333 kilometers and we were looking for our next challenge. So we shortlisted Badwater and road to Badwater led through Brazil. Although we were pretty sure with 333 finishing, we would be able to get into Badwater, but we didn't want to take chance. So we approached Doc and he recommended us to Brazil 135. And where this running would take us, I guess for all three of us, running has very different meanings individually. But then 
we find it very for me personally it is meditative i find it very calming and peaceful and it has brought good discipline into my life uh, i saw this uh, like you know i've dreamed about this 5 uh, years back uh, like uh, i've read an article about the bad water it is the world's toughest race and also you know i i started dreaming from that time itself that some day you know I'll, i'll be into this race so brazil uh, 135 was the sure sh- like not the sure shot chance but yes it gives us the preference to get into the bad water and hopefully we'll be there um about running uh, yes uh, we do have different meanings for that it has changed me as a person and uh, you know there's a saying that you know once when you get get something from you know the god above or above so you you must give it back to the society so that is my principle for running i i want to help people on you know to take up the fitness on doctor also does that a lot so i really admire you as well that is why it doesn't let us stop also <laughs> <laughs> yep thank uh, as i told you earlier that we are full time professional so we hardly get any time to you know have uh, have a good time with each of us so for us like for me especially this uh, ultra running is like spending very good time with my friends and uh, you know it's actually ultra running is about challenging yourself so what we are doing is we are just challenging our limits we did it in la ultra and we have more aspiration like uh, now we have started to go for the international runs all as well so as already told by both my friends that we are targeting bad water this year so one of the main reason of doing la ultra a hey, bad uh, brazil 135 was to do uh, uh, bad water only that's the important point here doc again that these three represent that uh, the are perfect ambassadors for the running movement that is happening in india basically they are not elite athletes that way or they were not athletes who were like for instance started at 10 year as a 10 year old and then continued their career and then uh, i mean translated that into marathons and ultra marathons but they started 5 6 years back getting seriously into running and so what what does it take for india to get moving or, or our citizens to actually get into such a lifestyle not necessarily aim for the toughest race in the world but generally to uh, keep moving and uh, maintaining a healthy lifestyle yeah so i think the as you said the best brand, be, uh, you know brand ambassadors for movement uh, these these guys uh, because they only picked it up now uh, and fair enough in school you know someone was active and all that that's all good but like most of us had that 15 year gap courtesy careers and you know professional life and all point really is getting back to what you were and t- doing more and more if it's only about health you know in my opinion even 10k is not important even 30 minutes is important if you just move around doing that but i think sometimes we need uh, brand ambassadors those people mentors to look up to and i think that's what they've done beautifully well uh, as i said 10 years versus today in india there's already a movement i think it's too slow though and more and more such stories need to be coming out that you know we are capable average guy is capable of more Uh, i would guess 5 years ago when they read about bra- you know whether ours you know like a laltra or a bad water it was only a dream but they've taken those steps they've taken those steps one by one most of us don't do things uh, because we think it's too far or it's too much i think it's baby steps each step counts i think that's a bigger learning for the society that any of us can and it doesn't have to be the top i mean how does it matter just move so i think that's the bigger one here yeah and how important is th- are these events that well it's a general question uh, like you guys started for a various reasons for instance fitness or keep keep oneself fit and then suddenly realized the joy of running and then started pushing yourself so how important are these events how, how important are targets uh, uh, to keep running keep oneself motivated lastly i would say these events they act as a validation of the process the discipline the good lifestyle which we go through because nobody talks about the hours we put in into running or whatever we do so it is not about that day or an event finally that day is a celebration of what we have been doing for past 6 months or 8 months so what we feel is it is discipline the spirit to get up and go get moving every day which is important and these events just act as a validation I totally agree with uh, Mandeep here. It is just to check, you know, whatever we've been, uh, you know, doing for the 
fitness and all and you know we've been running from since long so all that the events are just the check to see you know if we are going on the right direction or not as for me That's it's a very valid point that you said that uh, target or a goal setting which you do it's very important for any any activity that you or any passion you for, for which you are uh, you are uh, doing so like for running also we used to keep our targets like this year we have to do la ultra then we used to uh, you know we we plan our things uh, with that even like we uh, we are all professionals so we need to have we, have we need to plan our activities our day to day activities as well like for office going we have families as well we we all need to plan all those things so goal setting is very important for any any of the thing which you want to pursue like for the la ultra also we 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 plan lot of things no. that we will uh, start we will do our running from this to this time and you know in that way you prepare for any of the event as well so goal setting is one of the aspect that i i also agree that it's a important thing for any of the activity which you have to do it's actually both ways for me uh, on one hand i put these i'm i criticize myself a lot okay so as much as i put these events together in bigger scheme of things that don't matter yeah all right so point is for myself the last race i ran was in 2007 okay and i don't race anymore but the point is it doesn't mean that i don't run and it's not about you know i'm left on fitness and all that stuff so that's not actually right i think as we evolve uh it doesn't matter anymore uh but the point is initially when you get got started that medal matters that sheet of paper matters yeah. that someone else clapping for you matters that time but eventually over time how does any of it matter you know like how much you run or not run so it's it's a i think it's a path that you've taken it's a journey and we all start evolving with it uh, most organizers don't run themselves uh, they have no idea about running most of the times uh, that's a sad part though so i think it's important but not it's like one of those things is very important but yet it doesn't matter <laughs> it's it's kind of that and when you started off uh, did you Im- imagine that you would be doing such distances never. as such never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never never she as he said goals are goals probably were half marathon then it became full marathon then we fell in love with ladakh <laughs> 2015 i did my first lat- marathon in ladakh he did khardongla munish was in plant posted in <laughs> a far flung plant of ntpc so he didn't do any running at all 2016 both of us did khardungla again 2017 manish joined us in delhi and then we did 111 so up till 2016 when we finished khardungla challenge we used to look up to Khar- lal tra and say one day boss karenge right that was the only cut off dream we had right but then then dreams are dynamic right they keep on changing those so about la ultra when i uh, did my first uh, khardungla challenge in 2015 i was going you know crossing the that office of la ultra and <laughs> the kilometers which were written for that race was 111 222 kilometers in 333 and i was wondering who were these crazy guys you know who can do such distances uh, i did not even dream of uh, doing this race at that time and i wanted to meet those people who are those people you know who are doing such races so that's you know that's the kind of uh, picture we used to had about la ultra so, and it is it is like that when we finalized for signed up for 333 lot of running friends from running fraternity called us and said are you guys crazy <laughs> so we had no answers we just had to prove it to them ki we can do it <laughs> that's exactly my question actually in a way because uh, i understand the nirvana part of it you were talking about nirvana in a way that uh, you run and you run towards something and after a point it doesn't matter distances yeah. don't matter medals don't <laughs> matter fine but uh, as humans we also have a physical limit and uh, so now we are pushing it to 555 in in ladakh so <laughs> uh <laughs> you, you still crazy <laughs> yeah so so why do we do it why is that urge inside humans to and it's beyond validation after a point it's it's, it's what is exactly happening physiologically mentally philosophically also at, at this juncture in human evolution we don't have to prove our physicality or our physical prowess by running 555 kilometers to me it's actually getting to know yourself yeah uh, so someone could know themselves in like a 10 10 kilometer run uh some of us like to do this silly stuff you know like how much are we capable of uh when i run i'm connecting with myself the best uh again this run started a lot because of 
people telling me it can't be done. You know, so it started from there. Triple five is not really for the reason that we started the triple two or triple three. That, you know, let's start pushing the limits. Triple five is more for celebration. It's been, it's the 10th year. Uh, we've been doing something which was called impossible. And everyone proved, you know, these three average, so-called average guys proved it's so possible by anyone, right? Uh, it's celebrating that part. Uh, it's not about anything else really, you know, not trying to know, no more need to prove what are we capable of doing. It's total celebration <laughs> part. I like playing around with numbers. And that's why I had the triple five. Um, we have an extra day, so it's not five days only, it's five days and a half day, that, you know, the cutoff for this. Uh, and that's it, but a uh, good point you're saying, see, humans are adventurers uh, by our DNAs. We like pushing, we like to see what is on the other side. Uh, that is a very big one, you know, so those guys who've been at it like to push it. So that's, that's about it really for me. And uh, what about you guys? What, what will keep you going now that you're, I mean, uh, will you be doing 555, five, 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 for instance? Honestly, we are not ready this year. Well, uh, the doctor can think of crazy numbers, but we have to be sane at some point in time, right? It takes a lot of preparation, honestly. So this year, it's not, in, not on our radar. But then you never know. Next year, we may be there. As of now, no. <laughs> and uh, your next uh, aim, uh, as far as uh, running event is concerned, Blackwater? Right now, as we have said, we'll, we are targeting bad water. Uh, if we get through the application and all, we qualify for that. We get the invite, then we'll go for bad water. Else we'll change our plan and look for some other race. Would that be skipping Lalka? It's around the same time. So July is yeah. July, July, I think July, July is the time. So, so but yeah, definitely we'll look for, you know, some, some bigger distance or... <laughs> Not sure. Not that's, sure. uh, that's again something that I add. How many races can these guys afford to run what without physically? Uh, physically? So I, I say, see, that's very interesting point because what's actually happening is I get uh, in the clinic. So 10 years ago, I used to say the best business to do in running world is make people run, have a clinic next to them. And, <laughs> you know, because they have to get hurt. They will even today get hurt. That's classically what is happening right now because people are running more than 20 events in a year. It's a, it's a recipe for disaster. Even the very best people who are doing shorter distances, like a half marathon, like a 10K, they train for three to four events only in a year. Yeah. My recommendation, whether to them or whoever else out there, please don't train for more than three or four. But do them well. Train well, do them well. And even if you want to do more events, train them, uh, take them like a training run. So I'm not saying only limit to three. Take part in 10, I'm okay. But then plan it very well. So I would say like such events, train well, three, four, you've done very well. You know, no more than that, please. Because you're then just wearing it out totally. Then those injuries come along then. Exactly, so that uh, uh, brings us back to the idea of running, whether it's these guys, whether it's you, whether it's us also, that enjoy running and uh, take it as, as an outing, as a training run, and don't exert yourself so much that you break down and you end up not doing anything. Uh, uh, something that we uh, you love doing. Yeah. So on that note, I would uh, thank you guys for being here in the morning and uh, all the best for the application to Blackwater. All bad the water, uh, bad, water. bad water, sorry. Oh, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't turn black, black. water. <laughs> <laughs> and also on, uh, I mean, for the races that you plan to attend. Have uh, fun, guys. Thank you so thank much, you. Leslie, for having us here.